Well, I'm not sure if this is going to give you a very good idea of where this pole is. Um, but uh, at least we'll get to see what it looks like. You can see I've got four holes and I've got a couple in the middle so that I can bolt it up onto the 2x12s and the main supports also. And this one is just attached to the hanger. If I can zoom in on it. And it's only got one bolt in, up into the joist upstairs at the moment. I didn't like getting so real close to that expand that expansion joint. It's not a real expansion joint, uh, but it. I guess it was done for to section it off. But it was either do it this way or make a big one that went way over the side of it, and uh, so that's what I opted for. See, I'm going to have to trim these, this molding a little better and then box around it. Now you can see the, how the joist hangers fit on there, on the inside. This is the, this is the, the joist that's in the way. And I'm going to have to do something about it. It's in the where the center beam is going to go. And I think you can see maybe how I had to chisel it out right there. And I also ground the edge of the joist hanger some so that it would slide in there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to to get it in the right place and you can see these where these bolts are that will go through to to anchor all the way through the uh, the joist support there <coughs> and the other end <coughs> excuse me I had to put I had to put spacers in here which are anchored to the joist and the joist support and then some big old bolts going through there. There's not going to be much weight on this one uh, because of these stair steps. But there you have a pretty good picture of it. So next I've got to I've got to do something about this joist. I'm not exactly sure what yet but I've got to get it out of the way one way or another. Because the joist hanger will Oops, the joist hanger will not fit into the right position. You see how far off it is? It will not fit into the right position with that joist in the line. 